Here to show us how to turn a watering can into an unexpected water fountain is the amazing Ken Wingard. You always have the best ideas, you Ken. Thank you. Actually, Thank you. you got a lot of responses from your last DIY. Yes, the Father's, the Father's Day, Day t-shirt, Mr. Mr. Mark. Mr. Right. Mark, I Aww. love that one. It always makes me so happy when our viewers actually take photos and show I me because it, it, it's encouraging. You have to be so fulfilled by it that. Makes me, it makes me very proud. So uh, one of the ones I love, Courtney Hargrove. I think we have a photo here. Uh, she had her little toddler make one. The cutest thing you have ever seen. We have that photo. Uh, they're going to call they're it gonna, up. Okay, yep. they're going to grab it. Um, but yeah, but it's like, I love it when you all do that because it, it, you know, it's just, it feels good. Well, after this project, I'm sure that people will be sending you more pictures. I want to know how you did this. How do we get started? Well, okay, what this is is a pondless water fountain. So basically, it's a water fountain that doesn't have a big vat of water, which yeah. when you've got small kids at home, it, it becomes a safety issue. Exactly. Sure. Um, plus, it kind of is this, gee whiz, how does that work? Where that it's water magical. comes from? It is magic. Yeah. So you saw a photo of it earlier, but um, we're going to show you uh, how I got started. So what you're going to need is just a big sort of organizational tub, some screen, a standard pump, a watering can, and some pebbles. Go ahead and dig a hole where you want your fountain and drop your standard storage bin in there. And then just do it so the lip is ground level and then just fill in around it. Very easy. Get your standard pump. This was 19 bucks. It'll tell you what kind of hose. Put the hose on the end and put that at the bottom of your tub. Now get a piece of screen. Cut it. You can also use a barbecue grill if you've got that lying around. Sort of get it flat and then just cover that whole thing with some rocks, river rocks, pebbles, um, whatever sort of fits in with the look of your garden. And really, like, that's it. Just put water in straight through the rocks, fill up your tub, and believe it or not, you're kind of good to go. That's so, it. That, that's really it. That's really it. Um, that's so easy. Again. Well, so easy. So next thing you do, you got to prep your watering can. So what you're going to want to do is, if you can see here, there you go, Tyson. Just get a hole in the bottom. And all I did, standard drill, drill bit, and then a little tip, because these are not, the standard watering holes are not going to be big enough to get enough water out. So uh -huh. just take another little bit and just go right in through the hole. Huh. Are you only you doing and half make them of a that? little bit? I did the bottom half, the same okay. half that you're holding. I guess on. you're going to explain why. You'll see. Because yeah. okay. otherwise, the pump's going to have too much water and it's not going to go through. Now we're going to okay. hook it up. Remember that hose yep. that came yeah. out? I've got it up through this bench. Right. Um, I actually made this bench for four bucks. Check Facebook. I'm going to show you how to make this bench. Super, super easy. That's so cute. Um, man. Right, because I went to buy one and they're expensive. I know, so. they're not cheap. And you know how I am. Plus, it so. finishes the look. It gives it sort of like this accidental. Exactly. All from like right. leftover wood. Yeah. Which is so, so cool. Put your tube through the back there, if you can see that, and then through the front. And can you see that? I'm going to put it in right up to the spigot. So the hose there is going go. into the spigot itself. Into okay. the spigot itself. Lay that on its side. Now, there was also the electrical cord that went off the back. I'm just going to, excuse me, while I go into the jungle. Okay. When you're <laughs> you're going to plug it in. You want to make sure you have a GFI outlet. So, like, that's the ones for outside in case so of it rain. So, rain and electricity, okay. it'll trip it so nobody gets electrocuted. Plug it yes. in. Plug it in and. Oh, my gosh. Wait for the magic. Oh, my gosh. You know what I love about this? This <gasps> tells a story. I know. There's a story. You don't know what it. Maybe the gardener was here. He was magical, and he tipped his bucket, and he oh. a, fairy, a magical fairy. Or if it's like, oh, the apple pie's almost ready. Yes. I'll be right back. And, and it keeps just, recycling. It keeps water. recycling. Every couple days, you're gonna want to just shoot the hose down there, or put your watering system yeah, so it refills. It. How much does it cost? Um, everything. If you have to buy everything from scratch, fifty bucks. 